This is Tom Rush, Rush Reviews, and I'd like to show you today the Makeda Black Cat Knife K55K. Just uh, zoom in a bit for you there. Okay, so this is, it's 20 centimeters in length, uh, the overall length. This one's stainless steel. And uh, I couldn't tell you what stainless steel other than their number, which is a 1.4034. What that is, I'm sure it's some sort of solid, just what they refer to as a Solingen, uh, which is the area in Germany where it's made, uh, stainless steel. So that's it there. You're looking at 90 millimeter blade length. You're looking at over an or overall length from tip to uh, to the to the rear of the knife you're looking at 20 centimeters or 200 millimeters you're also looking at a, a handle length of 110 and you're looking at a blade shape being a medium pointed so yeah pretty nice little tip on that it's very pointy and uh, stabby so you're looking at uh, a blade thickness of, I believe, 3mm on this one. I'll just check that for you. I'm glad I did. It's more like 2.1mm. Yeah. yeah. And then that area there, mm, close to 3, but 2. Point, I'd call it 28 yeah, 2.8 mil. So it's quite a uh, the broadness of that blade is. Uh, yeah, you're looking at six mil. So it's not a big knife, but it is a very handy knife. The locking type on this is the. The back here, you've got a very strong uh, spring steel back lock, which is quite hard to push down, but when you get it, you get it. It's not uh, that hard, but it takes a little bit of force, and obviously if you can keep the rust away, uh, it would uh, probably be easy to press. Then you're looking at uh, a weight on this fella. Just check that for you, actually. There. And see what we get. There you go, that's 76 grams on the weight. And pricing on this fella, you're looking at uh, oh, about the 75 to $110 in uh, Australia, uh, which is uh, Australia. Uh, which is, nah, you know, it's a lot more than the, I think it was around the 10, 12 years ago, uh, would have cost me, uh, it was around the 38, 42, sort of in that mark. Um, that's Australian dollars and uh, US dollars for this thing, you can pick it up for 40 to 60. So a lot cheaper in the US, like all the knives. Uh, almost at least, uh, if not all. But uh, handmade in Solingen in Germany. And uh, it's it's been made for 150 years. So quite a bit of uh, heritage uh, to this, this uh, knife. And uh, a little bit of a story behind it too. The American GIs uh, brought this uh, Makeda, or Makator, a knife to America after World War II. It became famous under the name Black Cat Knife and is still here today. Uh, I've even heard that it's uh, uh, was used in the Bronx and uh, uh, you know in New York in the 50s, 60s uh, by uh, youths uh, would carry a knife and generally this was it. So yeah, I uh, didn't know that when I when I got it. Uh, didn't know about the military uh, background that it was a World War II. Apparently the uh, Germans uh, used to uh, carry these with them, not as an issued, not as a military issued or army issued knife, 
but as one that they would choose to take with them uh, along for their uh, their uh, tour of duty and uh, this was pretty well found on most of the uh, one of the uh, Germans that surrendered to the US and the US the uh, Americans would take these home and uh, with them as a, a bit of a souvenir and uh, so yeah they sort of got a bit of a uh, cult following after that but uh, I'm sure they were very popular prior as well the uh, designation of I don't know whether you can see that on the blade there but K55 put it that way K55K that actually is uh, K for Kaufman, the original manufacturer, back 150 years ago, and 55 for the uh, Hostras. I don't know, if I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but Hostras uh, 55, which was the original company address, and a K uh, designation for the symbol cat. The embossing is stamped under the press, and uh, after a powder coating, it's painted by hand, as they used to do in the past. So, pretty well the way they make them now, believe it or not, um, is the same way that they used to make them, which is uh, quite interesting. So, that's about it. I hope you like it. Um, it's quite thin, as you can see, which I should have taken a measurement there as well. Give you a look. Yeah, you're looking at a very thin handled knife of 6.5 now that allows you to slip it into uh, all sorts of pouches your pocket anything else that you might uh, might choose to put it into don't forget that fantastically strong backlock which uh, it's never given way it's been used for over 10 years and uh, greatly appreciated as well uh, you'll just see on the blade there you've got Germany Sullingen and you've got nothing on the other side. Uh, it also comes in uh, carbon steel which uh, I've got as well. Uh, not much difference to show other than a slightly dirtier or um, patinaed blade on the uh, carbon steel but it's also a little rusty and I need to tend to it with some uh, some oil and a bit of a cleaner. But uh, yeah finger nick there. Uh, you can if you close that up you can sort of half open this and give it a, a flick like that but uh, yeah nice nice knife uh, very very good little bit of history uh, behind it uh, so it's got some extra interest uh, there and uh, you, you can still pick up ones that were uh, made 150 years ago and uh, they the ones I've seen are actually about an inch bigger and uh, uh, otherwise the design is identical uh, the press is probably the same they probably just made a small medium and large back in the day I really don't know couldn't find that history but uh, there's plenty out there if you want to have a look so if you just put in uh, Makeda and uh, put in cat knife or K55 K uh, you've got uh, information that you you'll be able to come up with on this one uh, great knife going up in value and uh, still made today, same place, Solingen, Germany. Probably the same uh, uh, machine too that's pumping them out. Which you can watch this being manufactured if you go online. Uh, you can see the original company uh, pressing this out, which uh, that handle, by the way, is actually folded. It's a folded handle. That's what makes it kind of so slim. Gives it all the support structure that it needs. A bail. Uh, bail holder there at the back, bail clip or hanger and uh, bail loop and uh, yeah really uh, really uh, simple but uh, effective uh, knife that's uh, got enough length in it to cut up your zangers or uh, apple or whatever else you want and uh, get you out of trouble, cut through cable ties uh, and get it to a really sharp edge on it and uh, I've never had any problems. It's, it's a pretty thin, slicey blade, so it, uh, it's a great cutter and uh, highly recommended from uh, myself and uh, many thousands of others. So get it, enjoy. Uh, just like to 
thank you very much for watching and uh, if you would like to hit that like button i would appreciate it along with the subscribe button if you want to see further content all right well thanks very much and catch you on the next one bye bye